Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the introduction course for the Solving Unknown Organic Compounds Using Spectra. So this course is based on one of my most popular videos that I uploaded. So a couple years ago, I uploaded an example where we took a IR and some NMRs, and we looked at them and solved for an unknown organic compound. Now this is a very common technique that is used in undergraduate organic chemistry courses, and I personally have found that it is one of the subjects students complain about the most or they have the most difficulty with, is learning how to properly read all of these spectra and interpret them in order to get the correct compound. So of the many courses that I'm going to be putting out this upcoming year, uh, this one is going to be probably one of the more popular ones just based on the Google Analytics and looking at the popularity of different videos. So what are we going to cover here? We're going to talk about each of the steps in detail. So we're going to calculate degrees of unsaturation. That'll be the first portion. We will analyze the mass spectrum. We are going to go into this in a little bit of detail. So we'll talk about common fragment patterns, uh, the M plus peaks, the different isotopes that you can get for the halides. We're going to then look at analyzing the infrared spectrum, and we'll take a look at the most common functional groups and what region they would appear in. And then finally, we will obviously take a look at the carbon-13 NMR and the proton NMR because those are going to be where we harvest the bulk of the information and we want to spend the most time there whenever we're trying to solve these sorts of problems. Uh, especially in a testing situation where you have limited time, almost all of your focus should be concentrated in the C13 and the uh, proton NMR. I would say at least 90% of the time should be spent there. So as with the other courses that I have, you can support the channel. I have put together a 22-page informational guide related to how to solve these organic spectra. It's going to go into great detail. It's a support guide. It would complement the video course that I'm offering for free here, and it's very affordable. You'll be able to use it instead of having to sit and take notes, and you will also get additional practice problems that are not going to be available on the YouTube course. Uh, by doing that. And obviously it supports the channel so I can continue to bring you content like this. And I will also have the video walkthrough. So you can purchase a video walkthrough that's going to have over one hour worth of additional problem solving content if you want to see some more examples of this. So that's just a way that you guys can support the channel if you'd like to so I can continue to bring you free content like this. So that pretty much takes care of what we're going to be looking at just as a reminder, here's the sort of outline in terms of the problems that we'll be uh, examining. So you're going to have an IR spectrum. You'll have a mass spectrum. Uh, the mass specs that I provide are going to have the molecular formula when we are working through these unknowns because I believe in teaching students how to calculate degrees of unsaturation. However, if you don't have that in your class, um, that's okay. You can still use the mass spectra and identify the M plus peak and some of the common fragments. And then obviously we'll have the C13 and we'll have the proton NMR. Uh, the proton NMR is going to come with integrations when we're working with this. And the C13, it will depend on the example. Sometimes it will include the DEPT, the DEPT uh, carbon 13 NMRs, and then sometimes it'll just be a regular proton decoupled C13. So that's what we're looking at. We are going to spend an entire course going through and analyzing how we would solve unknown organic compounds using this information. So I'm looking forward to working with you guys and I will see you over in our next video where we will start talking about how to calculate degrees of unsaturation.